Well, here is basically I've gathered it all here on the bed to show you. This is basically everything I use to make the pages of a junk journal. Those are big construction paper sheets that I got when that little thrift store went out of business. I use those a lot. And then like here. Th this is the kind of stuff you look for in thrift stores. There's a big ledger book. I, that's a newly acquired book. I'm excited to use that one. Magazines, which I have not. I found this one, but I hadn't cut it apart yet because the pictures in it are so big. I've not figured out how to display them without just folding them in the book, which I may do. I just haven't done it yet. Got a quick, let's see, put that over there. And then this, I've used this a lot. I'm almost through. I found it at Wanda's. But it's just the old scrapbook and there was no pictures in it. Just these. So I just pull a page out and sit there and flick those little things off and use those old pages. Then let's see, there's dollies. Oh, let me hold the camera right. Dollies. Film, I think these are my transparencies. Yeah, my transparency films. Um, those do good in shaker cards. Then these are, I think, is my thing backwards? I can't tell. Let's see, what are these? Oh, these are some scrapbooking sheets that you could use the plastic off of them or the cardboard inside. And there is some more dollies. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, more doll, more dollies. I have a bunch of those. And then here is a just a, a notebook. I've used it a lot. So just just look for any kind of paper. Just any kind of paper. Here, these are the sketch pads they have at the Dollar Tree. Those work well. I have. Um, tea stained and coffee stained paper but I found out after doing I don't know how many journals the glue sticks just weren't holding good I guess it's the acid in the coffee and the tea so I just quit using them they look pretty and they sound good and crumply but I just quit using them so I just use all these other papers and here's another um, book some more that's just plain white paper that's cardboard, I think, just to hold something up. These I've had since I was a kid. This is like my last one. My mama got them when she worked up at the mill. They were throwing them out. And so, of course, we... Oh, there's another one. I've used them over the years for all kinds of things. Another sketch pad. Here's just some colored copy paper, typing paper. It's a little bit card stockish. And some more colors. I think, let's see, there's some construction paper. What is, oh, tracing paper. There's a, a nice option. See, any little odd thing. That's a little notebook. Some more construction paper. Um, copy paper type stuff. Here are some. These are, I can get a hold of it. Little envelopes. And then, what else we got down in here? Oh, there's just some more different papers I had. Listen, I don't know where I get half of what I get. Oh, the, I love this book. This old thing. I love putting these pages in there. Is that not the coolest? Yes. And then, these were the calendars I just hauled. You may or may not have seen that video yet. And then in here, these are like smaller things. So there's like a, just a little small book with different colored pages. Some little small fun pads. Some bridge notebooks. I got those at um, Wanda's. And what is this? This is daytimer notepads. I hadn't even opened that. I'm going to have to do that today. And this was a, um, I think I found this at Wanda's too. No? That's got a 95 cents ticket on it. I don't know where I found that. But I've had it. It's like a toy salesman or something. I don't know. 
So, I, well, let me put that up there. And an old pattern. You can use the pattern paper. There's a to-do list. There is just an old notebook. It's just, it was for free up there at that um, thrift store. Because you see, it's been just ruined. But the paper in it's good. Here's a, a bullet journal that was at a thrift store. Somebody had already written in part of it in the front. See? And then they got rid of it. And some little construction paper. And that, that's just... I need to put that somewhere else. That's a book I'm saving. And a little um, notebook. But I like the brown paper in it. Let's see. Oh! Meditations from... The I have been missing out on this book too. Oh, let me let me set that. It's got quotes and stuff in it. I, I did not realize it was down in there. And then I got like card I didn't pay four dollars for these. These are little um cards and envelopes. I put those in there. I just brought one of these in here because I didn't need to bring them all, but I have these and they're like falling apart. So you can take out little pages in that. I think those are pretty. And then this is another container I have. These are some large fun pads. See how old and yellow? But they practically fall apart and they're just dirty. I think they were in the... See how it's falling apart? I think they were in that free section as well. And there's some calendars with baby dolls in them that I used for Halloween. And let's see... I think I got some coloring. There's um, coloring, like find the difference or whatever. I don't know how to. I can't talk and hold my camera at the same time. I apologize. So it's just a kid's book. I didn't pay 99 cents for it. I can tell you that. And then let's see what what is this? Oh, a diary of an early American boy. This is just an old, very old, um, dingy book. I just hadn't pulled anything out of it yet. I've had it for a long time. And then here's some old magazines I found. Rip, reptiles. And then I think all these are the sunset or ideals. Ideals. So there's Christmas. I have several of those. Something fell in there. Fell in there. Well, where in the world did that come from? I think I just found a bookmark that I didn't realize was in one of those books. Huh. So, Southern Accents Christmas. These are just some uh, magazines I found up at the thrift store. Ideals Country. They got pictures and articles and um, poems and all kinds of stuff like that. And then, like, there's an owl book I had found. Um, that one, I'm pretty sure, was discarded from the library, maybe. I can't remember where I found that one. And there's the baby doll book I used for Halloween. <laughs> And then here's a, a coloring book. You can get the coloring books and use pages out of them that you don't color. Okay, back there. Did I tell you already that? Did I already tell you about that um, construction paper? It's big construction paper. You see how big that legal pad is? I got it at the um, thrift store that went out of business down in Concord. Now, this is just the bucket that I keep in my, my drawer in there. And I'll just add stuff to I have a lot of these CVS prescription bags. I have a lot more of them down in here, too. But like, there's a, a Glade Flings bag. It smells, it smells good if you ever put one of them in your journal. And here's just some little bags. I actually found these at the Value Village. What I'm going to do is, because I just don't like their head, and you can't stick nothing down in there because they just get in the way. I'm just going to cut and make that finish out that heart. So you put bags in it. There's um, folders that I took out of something. Uh, I think I put them out of a notebook that I was through using. But I wanted to save that. And there's like some little bags. There's some more of those envelopes. There's some junk mail. Now those were pictures I was using the color. Some more junk mail. Here's where that went. Ah, listen. I got, let me sit this out. Hold on. I 
I would have had them in my car at Christmas. You know, I, I can't find some. <laughs> There's a calendar. I think I got it in the Vavo. It's just because I like the pictures in it. And there's some more and just some paper and uh, um, gardening catalog, but you can use the pages or you can cut out the flowers, however you want to do that. Uh, order form, you can just put it in there just like it is. These are the perking picture pages. I save all those. There's a old um, craft book, like I think that's a, a highlights for children. There's just some directions for something that come in something I bought. These were, I, I know I'm not holding that right. These were the pages out of the books, library books that I bought. that have the like stamp pages on them. I like those. There's a whole lot of more those. Some more tracing paper and then these are just like cardstock things some junk mail some folders and stuff i pulled out of books before i threw them away gift bags Whew. that's just the <laughs> you get the idea save all your junk just find you a big tub and just throw your paper in there and then here is this stack of construction paper that I just bought at the C van, and I am thrilled to dig into this. So this is the bulk of my junk journal. The other parts that I use for pages are scrapbook paper. And I find a lot of it at thrift stores, but you go to Hobby Lobby and buy it. Um, you can go to Michael's and buy it. Michael's, they run those $5 hot buys every season where you can get scrapbook pads for $5. You can't beat that. So that is what we use to build a junk journal. Now comes the part to decide what we want to put in this particular book. Now we'll put together our signatures. When I was putting my containers up, I found a couple more things I wanted to add. Now, I don't take all that out, put it on the bed, go through it. I pull that in here for the sake of video and to show you what all you can get to put in a um, journal. I just go around to each place that I have it stored. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is separate four piles to get my even um, distribution. So what I did, these are those little books that you get at the Dollar Tree. Go through, when you're undoing little books, go through, find the middle set. Let me see. Hold on a minute. I don't know if I got a book that's sewn together. Oh, isn't that pretty? In Jaffa Pan. I don't know if there's a... Yeah, this is not so. This is glued. We go through, find the section of the book that you can see the thread. Now, if it's glued, you can cut it with an X-Acto knife or you can rip it. I used to just rip it. The torn edges don't bother me. It just adds to the journal. Um, find where it's sewed together and see the threads and take your X-Acto knife and snip those threads and then those two pages just pull out. So go through the whole book and do that. You can see where that one was sewn in. I just snipped those and pulled the pages out. So these are just those little books that you get at the Dollar Tree.
Now we will go in there to the desk and do one of these. Because once you see how to do one, you'll know how to do them all. So come on, let's go back in yonder. Okay, now we're just going to start folding. We'll measure what will what fit in the box in a minute. We're just going to start folding everything in half. You have to be careful with your dollies. So I'm just going to do those by hand. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to um, set it out in a... That's the back of it, like that. In groups kind of like things together so that we're putting it together we can um, mix it up now for your regular papers I have a bone for why is that not I have a what they call a bone folder it gets you a good crease but this is how I started. Now you can have your, um, I gotta stay in the frame. Your um, little dots up top, your little holes up top, you can have them at the bottom, it don't matter. However you want to do it. Now this is how I, I creased it in the beginning. I took the handle of my scissors. So it works just the same, but I thought I needed a bone folder, so I got a bone folder. Now, as you can see, this is big. You're not going to see the whole, it's not going in your journal like this to see the whole picture. You can do two things. You can fold it completely in half, or you can fold it, let's say you want you want to see part of the picture. You can fold it like I did my owls. Like if I had an owl on this part of the page, I wanted to see the whole owl. I just folded it part way. And when it's, so, when it's sewn in, you'll have a small portion on one side and a bigger portion on the other. I, I'm fine with half. And you can see this is going to be upside down. You, you could do it like that if you wanted to do it like that. You just have to make the decision in your book what you want. Now this will go over here in its own little category. Now, like this where I tore it off, if you want to put it in your paper cutter and cut it, if you want to take scissors and cut it, you cut it. If you want to do like me, leave it and do like me. That will go over with our like little pattern paper. And I'm going to keep all my little small pieces together. going to say to put on a page so I'm going to set it aside okay I told you this I'm going to cut these little people out I'm going to eyeball it and then let's see with bags you can use this as a tuck spot so if you want to have it like on a page this way or you can have it on a page this way and we'll just we'll just go ahead and go this way for the fun of it and this is going to be um thick to sew through the bone fold this really good so you can get it down in there really good And it'll just go right in like that. Oh, I thought I got more than one of these per... I'm going to go back. I'll show you how to do this, and I'm going to go back and get probably two more. I wasn't thinking, because these are the ones I want my to be my folders and so um, I wanted more than one but I'll show you this one we'll go ahead and 
measure because okay I'll, I'll take it about that far from the top and we'll fold up the bottom And then I'll fold it in half this way. Then I'll have a pocket on this side and a pocket on that side. And then all we'll have to do is just cut it off to make it um, fit. But we'll do the cutting in a minute. So I'm going I'm to get a couple more of those and then we'll start putting this together. Okay, so before we start putting this together, just to make it easier to hold, let's go ahead and see I'm lining it up. It, you can see that much is going to stick out. Um, I don't mind paper sticking out, but you don't want it so far, I'm sorry, so far that when you tie it together, which we forgot to put a, a ribbon in there but that's okay I'll show you what to do um that when you tie it it crumples up so just kind of line it up and again you can use your paper cutter which I'm not going to I'm just gonna cut it Use this one as a guide. I also have one of those um, handle down um, paper cutters that I could use that would cut through this um, easier, but. Not worried about it today. We'll cut this one down too. See, it's a little too tall. So we need to cut off about. That one got a line, so it makes it a little easier. Now let me see how far that comes off. Okay. What we can do with this. Just to make it interesting. You see. Oh no. I can't. My camera angle is just not enough. Where you can see everything I'm doing. And I do apologize for that. But you see there's that much. Off the edge. Oh I didn't quite cut that enough. I was looking at the wrong line. Let me do that again. We can. Make a side pocket about that big so now you can do it leave it like that and we're going to glue these and have two that goes that way or you can make this one since we know where the fold is go this way I think I'll leave it like that okay so that's the big stuff now this is where you have to decide what do you want to be your middle page I a lot of times like my middle page to be something blank now when we sew it there will be a place that's tied in the middle so there'll be a little small knot and string in the middle I can still work around that because you're going to have a string in the middle whether you tie it or you just twine bind it. You might want just this. That's your middle. You just look at it. You're done. I like mine to be able to, like if I have a, a full page magazine spread, 
to see the whole thing. So I'm going to make a piece of construction paper my middle. Now this is where you just make it look however you want to look it. Look it. <laughs> however you want it to look. You don't want to put all your construction papers together, then all your little odd papers together, and all your little small papers together. You want to mix it up. So we'll do this. Just hold it. Put your little easy way to put your finger in the middle hold it like that and then you're going to try to center it up the best you can and then just keep keep putting in papers um let's go ahead and put a folder let's uh, yeah let's put that one sure to save out um i should have told you got it think about it till here at the end be sure to save out the piece of paper that you want to be the cover of your signature so when you get to that signature there's the front it it really only matters on your very first signature so when you open your book that's what you want to see and since i was left here i didn't want to see purple i'm going to save it for this brown up here you can't see it but you'll see it in a minute Now these are going to be nice, thick, I might have, let's see, I'm going to have, I can't get a hold of it, four of those. I might need to whittle that down because I'm going to put so much stuff in it. Of course, I like a big chunky journal. I, I like when they, you know, spread out like that. I like those. So... For now, I'm going to leave it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to all the rest of my paper, papers. Okay, I have all my signatures put together. And you see how much room it takes up in this book? This is decision time. If I was not going to add cardboard from food packaging, this would be perfect. I could just glue in my magazines, put extra papers and whatnot. But I'm going to be putting some thick things in here. So I'm going to need to whittle this down. I hate to do it because there's cool things in there. But what I'm going to get rid of is going to be these. I hate to do it, but they are the thickest things I have. So I'm going to go through each one, try to keep it all together because it's kind of um, oh, I don't want to get rid of that. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just not. If it's too, too thick, it's too, too thick. So that took that one down tremendously. I can feel the difference. So let's see. I can feel how thick that is. And I think this is the one... We'll take that one out. I'm not going to take out my big, um, thick construction paper folders because I need those. And I don't want to take that out just because it's pretty. So, what's... Oh, I didn't know both those were in the same one. Well, that's fine. That'll take two out of that one. And, and I know what's coming out of this one. And I hate 
I hate to do it, but I'll use it in another journal that I'm not making so big and thick. Is my gain. I really wanted that in there. But we'll just make our decisions. Okay, so there, 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 there. Let's see how this changes it. It's not going to change it a whole lot, but it'll get Okay, well it did because I can squish that down better. I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. 